What is up guys, I'm Atori and today I'm going to show you how I transformed my bathroom vanity using vinyl wrap. I've seen that sometimes this is called contact paper, other times it's called vinyl wrap. I'm just going to call it vinyl wrap in this video but they're kind of synonymous from what I've seen. So I'm going to start off by saying why I want to do this. So in my bathroom I've been updating things here and there. I changed my bathroom faucet to one that was nice and matte black and I really like the look of it. I think it is pretty elegant and I want to go down that path for decorating my bathroom. However, my existing vanity was this wood grain that was nice, but it was a little warmer than I wanted for my bathroom, so I decided to change things up. I didn't want to go through the hassle of painting it because I already went through the hassle of painting my cabinets and I, I saw how messy and time consuming that was. So I searched for easier alternatives and I stumbled on this trend of people vinyl wrapping their cabinets and I figured I'd give it a try. It is very inexpensive to do and totally temporary, so it is great for renters as well. All that being said, let's just jump into the materials. So what we will need is the vinyl wrap slash contact paper itself, some scissors or knives, a heat gun, and scrapers to push the air bubbles out. And that's really it. If you don't have a heat gun, you can totally use a hair dryer, but I would totally recommend having some form of heat because I found it really helpful in my process. So now that we've gathered all of our materials, let's just jump into the project. So we're gonna start off by uninstalling all the hardware currently on the vanity. So this is the toilet paper holder that is on the side. It is pretty easy to remove, at least in my case. Uh, if you cannot remove yours, you can just build it around or you can totally skip this if yours is not mounted onto your vanity. Uh, and then we gotta remove the doors as well. This will help us get into the corners of the doors better. So it might seem a lot like a lot of work up front, but it will save us a lot of t uh, work later on. And there we go, stripping down the vanity was pretty simple and now we're all prepared to add the vinyl wrap. Make sure to give your vanity a nice little wash, make sure you get rid of any dust that's on there because this is adhesive and you want it to stick as well as it can. So giving it a quick little dust off will, can really go a long way. The next step will be applying the vinyl wrap to the vanity. So when you first get started, I recommend going for an area that seems pretty simple, an area that is pretty flat so that then you can get to learn the vinyl wrap and learn how it works and uh, it'll help you later on when you, when you take on more challenging spots. So kind of assess which area you think is the easiest and use it to really practice. This does get pretty tricky and you do have to make a lot of cuts. So I would recommend getting a little bit of extra vinyl wrap just in case you have some mess ups. My vinyl wrap is black with wood grain and uh, that being said you really want your grain to match up wherever possible so in the areas where uh, you have two sections matching make sure that they're both headed in the right direction. So on the side I did it all vertically and when I reapplied I also did it vertically. You can see that uh, the heat gun really helps to push the vinyl wrap. It is basically plastic, so the, the heat gun kind of makes it a lot more malleable and easier to work with. It, it becomes much easier to get the air bubbles out once you have the heat gun. And then you have to make a couple cuts when you reach the corners to make folding over a lot easier. I use the little scraper tool to get the air bubbles out after I heat them up with the air gun. So you see me pushing air bubbles out and also I tear it up some spots here because it was, it was my first time using it and you see me cutting a little bit of strips just to cover it up. Now that I learned a little bit about how vinyl wrap works, I built up the confidence to move on to trickier spots such as the doors. So in this next bit you're going to see me tackling the doors which actually have a lot of grooves which uh, are easier to tackle with if you're using the heat gun. So I'm starting off by laying the doors down on the vinyl paper and then measuring so that I know I have enough to cover the front as well as for folding over and getting the sides. After I measured my pieces out, I started to apply them. Uh, this is a lot easier with more than one person actually because uh, someone else can help you grab the corners of the square pieces because they have four corners and I only have two arms. So it can be pretty <laughs> tricky to get it uh, mounted the way you want. Uh, but once I got it on straight, it was just a matter of getting all the air bubbles out. You can see me use the air gun near the nooks and crannies and then pushing the bubbles out with my scraper. If there's a bubble that I feel, felt like I could not get it out, I just popped it with the X-Acto knife and uh, let all the air out that way. 
In this angle, you can really tell the grain of the vinyl wrap, and this is very 3D, so if you run your fingers through it, you can really feel that wood grain, which is really nice. Uh, it looks very much like wood from pictures, and you really couldn't tell unless you got up close to it. I did not realize how crucial the heat gun was until I started doing this project. I, at first, I thought I could probably do it without it, but I decided to fetch it just in case, and I'm really glad I did, uh, because it made the whole process of getting into the corners and sides a lot easier. As you can see, I apply it first and then I run the heat gun, get it all warmed up and then I push it into the corners, uh, getting all the air bubbles out of there. Now that we did the front, we can just flip it over and make some cuts to fold over. Uh, this side of the cabinet door will not be facing forward, so I didn't really care about it being perfectly nice. Um, you might want to put more attention here, but if it's out of sight, I generally avoid it. And there we go, that's how we did the cabinet doors. I thought this step was pretty easy uh, since you can move the cabinet door around and flip it over and do all that stuff. Uh, and uh, I just went ahead and did it to the other door as well. I saved the hardest part for last, which was really getting into those nooks and corners uh, between the fake pull-out drawers in the vanity. Um, I saved it for last because I really wanted to practice with vinyl wrap on the doors and on the side of the vanity. And uh, when I got to this point, um, I was as prepared as I was ever going to be. I do believe that this step would be easier with some help from someone else. Uh, but I was a still able to measure everything myself and push the vinyl wrap into the tight little corners. Once I got everything measured out, I could just fold it over and push it in. Um, and this does require a lot of patience. It is very tricky to try to get all the lines to match up straight and get all the air bubbles out. And uh, this is by no means perfect. I messed up several times doing this. Uh, but you can see later I come back with the X-Acto knife and cut off some of the excess. Once I got the excess out of the way, I came in with a heat gun and I tried to clean up my edges and corners a little bit more. You can see that I messed up some spots where I did not measure correctly, so I just came back with more vinyl wrap and covered those pit bits over. Luckily those bits are behind the door, so you can't really tell too, too much. Um, and this project, for me personally, once you get up close, you can see the imperfections, but from afar and in pictures, you really can't tell too much. By far the hardest part was this bit right here, right under the uh, laminate top. Uh, it was really hard to cut a strip that was short and long, and, I, and applying it straight was an absolute nightmare. I think this would be a lot easier with help from someone else, uh, but doing this myself was very time consuming, but eventually I got it done. It's not perfect at all, but it is definitely good enough for what I'm trying to do. At this point, I have my bathroom vanity and cabinet doors all wrapped up, so I'm ready to go back and reinstall the doors and the toilet paper mounting hardware back onto the vanity. So starting off with the toilet paper holder, I just poked some holes to see where I needed to screw in. And once I knew where the screws had to go, it was just very simple to reinstall using the same holes as before. The vinyl wrap is very well adhered to the surface and doesn't really move around, so this step was very simple and easy. Now moving on to the cabinet doors, I start off by screwing all the screws halfway in, uh, then putting the doors on and then tightening the screws a little bit more. You can see here that the inside is still the old wood grain color, and that is because I do not care. Uh, <laughs> the inside, no one will see it, none of my guests should be in my bathroom vanity, so uh, it can just remain the old color. And that's it, at this point I'm really happy with the way it looks, and it looks really, really good from afar. Uh, you can't really tell that it is vinyl wrap until you get really close and look into the corners. Um, but overall, I did this very quickly. It, did, it only took me one afternoon by myself and it would be a lot faster if I had gotten help from someone else. I really like the way this looks. I think the black wood grain was definitely the right choice. And looking at the before and after, I really like the after. Uh, I'm not going back to the before, even though I totally could if I wanted to. It's really simple to just rip off the vinyl wrap and go back to how it was before. But I really like this and I'm going to keep it until it peels off. I would be careful if it has paint on it because I think this might be, uh, it might pull off paint once you rip off the vinyl wrap. But if it's just wood and it seems like pretty sturdy, the vinyl wrap should not harm the vanity or cabinets at all. So this is definitely a very renter friendly project that you can do. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like this video, please like. And if you want to see more of this type of stuff in the future, please subscribe as I'll try to upload more in 2021. See ya.